Hi guys, welcome to this video on the formation of acid rain. Okay, when we take any fossil fuel and we heat it and combustion occurs, it reacts with oxygen, we'll form carbon dioxide and water. Now those gases go up into the atmosphere and they will dissolve into the clouds. And rainwater is therefore naturally slightly acidic. The carbon dioxide forms something called carbonic acid. However, there's also something in fossil fuels, an impurity called sulfur. Now, that sulfur, when it reacts with oxygen, forms something called sulfur dioxide, SO2. When that goes up into the clouds, it dissolves in the water and it makes something called H2SO3. That's called sulfurous acid. Now that reacts with oxygen in the atmosphere and further produces H2SO4, which you should remember is sulfuric acid. Now, a key thing to remember from this is the sulfur impurities produces SO2, which then dissolves in rainwater to make sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is your acid rain. So think back through the video. There is a question here for you, which is pretty self-explanatory, hopefully. Describe how impurities and fossil fuels can lead to acid rain. It's looking for three marks. Name the impurity. What does it react with? What does it form? Then when it goes into the clouds, what does that turn into? Pause the video, have a go, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's go through. So what's the impurity? Nice and simply, sulfur, so that's gonna get you one mark. That sulfur reacts with oxygen to form sulfur dioxide, SO2, so that's gonna get you your second mark. And then your third mark is for talking about that SO2 dissolves in rainwater and forms your sulfuric acid, H2SO4. You can talk about the sulfurous acid, H2SO3, or you can just skip and go straight to the H2SO4 section to get the third mark. Okay, I have got a review question for you, which says, using either word or chemical equations, explain how acid rain forms from sulfur found in fossil fuels. So you don't get the mark for saying about the impurity here. We just want you to either use word equations or symbol equations to tell me sulfur reacts with oxygen, what does it form? That then reacts with the water in our clouds, and what does that form? That brings this video to an end. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to get more updates. You can visit the website for more information, and you can look at my latest video. Thanks for watching.